All right, so welcome to our, um, our next video, and this time we're gonna start talking about combinations. So combinations, or choosing, uh, are a little bit different to permutations or arranging. So the key word in the questions that you'll have to look for is choose, and that'll tell you that it's, you have to say it's a combinations question. Uh, in this case, order doesn't matter, um, whereas in arranging, it did matter. And then you have to choose things generally for groups and not for lists or sequences. So it's a slight difference and sometimes it can be kind of difficult to tell that slight difference and that's what this video is for. It's just about trying to, um, I guess so you can understand the difference between choosing and arranging. So say for example in the last video we were talking about our seven Harry Potter books and you have to arrange them on a shelf. So I'll say arrange and shelf and so for the sake of that question if you arranged, you only had space for three of them. So say if you arranged them one, two, three that was different than three, two, one, okay? So that's specific for a range, and that means that the order does matter. But like I said, for choosing, we said that order doesn't matter. I have up here in the blue, and um, so it's gonna be slightly different. So say, for example, our question this time is going to be, here it is. So in this case, this is our question. We have seven Harry Potter books, and we're going on holidays. Um, but in our bag, we only have space for three of the Harry Potter books. So how many different combinations of books could you bring? So in this case, the order doesn't matter because if you bring book one, two, or three, it's the same as bringing book, I'll say same as bringing three, two, and one because they're, they're still the first three books are in your bag. So it doesn't really matter at all. So the way we do combinations is using a different button on the calculator. So I'll just scroll down. So the way we're going to do combinations is using um, the combinations book on the cal or button on the calculator, I guess. Combinations, and it's going to look like NCR, which is, I guess, just a little bit different from NPR. Uh, it's next to the NPR button on both calculators. So I will say on a sharp, for example, it is above the number five, and on a Casio, it is above the division mark. Um, and so for example, if we were to answer this question, all we have to do is we know that N is the total amount and then OR is the, we'll say space, we'll say the available. So it means that the, the N and the OR mean the same thing for um, as the permutations, but they just, the kind of operation that the calculator does is a little bit different. So in this case, we have seven Harry Potter books. So N is equal to seven and R is equal to three again. So I'll go blue for it. We're gonna say seven choose three and seven choose three. So that's, all, that's what you say. You can say seven C or or seven choose three, it's the same. Um, and the answer is 35. So there are 35 different combinations of books you could bring. And if you remember from the last example, seven P or seven permutations, is 210 so choosing is always going to be a good bit smaller than the permutations okay I'll just get rid of that there um, so hopefully that is clear just the difference between the two so if you're arranging your Harry Potter books on a shelf your order does matter say because one two three is going to be different from three two one and then if you're bringing the Harry Potter books on holidays you have to choose them you're not arranging them and in that case one two three is the same as three two one uh, and that'll just give you a hint as to which button to use, the NPR or the NCR. So I'll go down and I'll give one more example just in case that wasn't clear. Um, so we'll say arranging uh, friends for a photo. Uh, and sometimes they won't explicitly say arrange in the question, uh, but in this case we'll just imagine they do. So it's quite easy to tell. Sometimes you might have to kind of read between the lines to see if it's arrange or choose. So we'll say there are eight friends you have, uh, but there's only space for five in the photo. I'll just say that space for five in the photo. So in this case, since we're arranging, we would say eight P five. We'd stick that into our calculator and we'd find that there are 6,720 different arrangements. But in case, in this case, if, say if we're choosing friends okay so um, choosing friends for a road trip say you have a five-seater car 
it doesn't matter the order that like it doesn't matter which friend is sitting in which seat as long as you have five of them so you have eight friends and again five available seats so in this case you have to choose them um, so it's a little bit different so it's going to be 8c5 and if you stick that into your calculator you're going to find that the answer is 56 which again is quite a good bit smaller than uh, the 6720 so again hopefully those two examples just show the difference between choosing and arranging uh, they both of them aren't too hard to do all you need to do is just understand which one to use and then where the button on the calculator is um, so yeah those are kind of the simple examples then late like they, they can get more difficult so after this in the next video we're going to do some more arranging examples but they get a little bit more complicated but those are the basics and the most important thing is that you understand the difference between choosing and arranging uh, that's it for this video we will see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos with friends if you can as well thanks